Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this episode, we will show you how to edit a table based on the value of another table. Okay, so this is a sample application that I have. Basically, this is a room rentals. So this is a, these are the available rooms that we have. And then this is the data. Whenever we create a new reservation, let's say a new check-in, once the room is rented, it will become rented also here. Okay, so for example, let's add one a new data now. Let's say here, status check-in, let's choose the plot number one, and then guess, let's say Joe Matt, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. And then the rate, let's say 10, let's say the check-in is today, okay? So once you save it, the room number should be updated. See, as you can see, the room number is number one, and the status is check-in, and here still not changing. So our goal is, once we... Once this room number is rented here, it will automatically change the status to rented. And once we also edit this, let's say this guest already check out. Okay. And it should be showing to our available flat. Okay. Or the room should be available. Okay. So to make it easy, let's uh, let's not uh, delete sync. Let's disable this to automatically save. Okay, as you can see, it's checkout, and it's not updating here. Okay, so what were you, we will achieve today? is to edit the table of other of to edit the table using the value of another table or base base of the value of the other table all right so let's go to the app editor okay so i have just two table which is the rental data and then the rooms and in my database i have just two tables also okay as you can see i have just two tables so in order to do that to update the values of another table you based on the value of another table we have to use the behavior here so let's create a new action first okay so the new action is it's here so we will start with uh set the value of some columns in this row and we will choose the rooms which is this table the availability then so we wanted to status we needed to change it to let's say rented okay let's keep it as rented click save okay then i just like to hide it do not display you can do that you can display or you, you can so we will title this action if okay, in rooms in rooms table if rented this will be easy for us to, to recognize okay then second is we need to add a new action again this time we will choose execute an action of set of rows okay so we will title this and the, for the record of this table choose the rental data which is this table okay then i'm gonna title this to easy to recognize i mean to easy to to recognize is in rental 
data during check-in. Then the reference table is the rooms. Okay, so now we have to use a formula which is for you to see in reference row, use this formula select then um, what is the table name which is the rental data which is this table rental data the column is room number okay room number comma then this row we have to use the formula this row second This row at uh, room number. This equals to room number. Okay. If your form formula is correct, it should be turning into green. All right. So uh, save it. Then the use the reference row. I mean reference action in room in rooms table if printed. This is the first action that we created. Appearance, I don't want to show it, so I keep it do not display. Then hit save. So that's that's the first stage we're gonna do. Then you go to UX. So go to your rental data. In form view, look for the form view, guys. Just scroll down. If you cannot see the form view, just click this one. Show system views. It will it will show. Then rental data form. Okay, so in behavior, I want it change it to look for the in rental data during check in. Then hit save. Now let's try. So this is the first stage. Let's refresh. Okay. Let's try to add, let's say room number one is rented. So we will add the data here, status check-in, room number, let's select room number one. Guest name, let's say Joe. Joe Matt. Phone number one, two, three, four, five, six. Then let's say the rate is 10, then check in today. Okay, then hit save. Okay. Then the room number one, it should be showing as rented since, so it's already checking the room number one and it will show rented here. So that's how we're gonna change. So now the problem is, we want to, once we edit this one and change the status to checkout, we wanted to change the here to available again. So as you can see, so let's say this is already checkout and uh, the checkout is today. Hmm. It should, uh, our goal is to change it to available again. Here, so it's not changing. In order, in order to do that, guys, so let's, do, let's go to our second step. Go back again to the behavior. Let's create a new action. So in room still, so the... This action, I'll name it as in in rooms. If let's say available, then we will change the status into available. Okay, and we don't want to display it. Okay, let's uh, uh, 
appearance, do not display. Then let's create another action. Okay. This time used, same thing. Exe execute an action to the set of rows and select rental data. So I'm going to name this action as in rental data during checkout. Then, same thing, rooms, then reference action, I mean reference, uh, the row reference, so we have to apply the formula again, same formula, but we apply, select, rental data, column is room number, and we're going to use this row formula that room number room number column is equals to the room number okay if it's green it's correct all right then the reference action that we're going to choose this time that one that we created in rooms table if available so when okay then click i don't want to show this option okay hit save then the next thing you have to do guys is to do an automation automation here so let's create a new boot so i'm gonna I'm going to create, I'm going to name this boot during checkout. Okay. Let's configure the event. Create custom event. And event name. So in rental data. checkout during checkout so this is the event during the checkout so we want only to use uh, updates only so when, when when we edit the status then rooms change this to rental data okay so these conditions you can add the condition if the status is equals to checkout. So what we are trying to do here, okay, it will trigger only if you choose checkout. Okay, so that's what we're trying to achieve. So this is done. Then add step, create custom step. Okay, so this name during checkout, if this happened, yes, you can rename yours, guys. So this is just to make it understand. If this happened during checkout, then what you're going to do, run a data action. Okay, then select in rental during checkout okay and then hit save and that's all now let's try okay now let's try to refresh the application let's create a new let's delete this and let's try if uh, everything is working okay so did this one okay let's wait guys all right our goal once we place the data here like new check-in 
the designated uh, room number should be changed to rented. Okay. Okay, room number, let's say number eight. Guest name, let's say phone number. Okay. Then this is the rate, the check in date. Today and hit save. So room number eight in available rooms, I mean in the rooms, it should change into rented. So guys, it's changed to rented. Then if you wanted to change this, so it's check in. What if I want to change it into checkout? So let's say this this guy, this guest, or the checkout. Then here save then room number eight should be returned to available so we'll see if it's like that all right see guys so that's how you change uh data in the table or top date using the values of another table so i hope you you got something in this video, you learned something. And if you learned something, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, or like this video. And see you next time. To see you next time, guys. And thanks a lot.